Pwn your body, pwn your body, pwn your body Pwn your body What up guys? On my way to go cut my hair. I got an agency meeting today with a commercial agent today, so gotta be looking dapper. So we can make some more moolah. And I'm actually kind of late for my haircut. Houseway, how is it this much traffic this early in the morning? I gotta cut my hair, guys, you gotta move. So up ahead, there was a car crash. You see KTLA for Channel 4 News all the way up there. So that's the reason why there's a crash. But that's the reason why we're going so slow. So late. I'm late for my haircut, I'm late for my haircut. Dang it, E, my bad, yo. And it's up. Yeah, got the boy E here. Yeah. yeah. All right, so we're back with a fresh cut. Um, got a meeting with an agency today, commercial agent. Uh, to possibly get sent out on some more auditions, so commercial auditions and book some more stuff, get some more moolah, put out some more records and live life a better, more comfortable financially way. I need some breakfast right now with the pops. Um, work on the vlog later on today. Finally got the intro and I may be putting out the first vlog later on today. So I'm pretty excited. You guys can actually see how far ahead I actually started recording and uh, filming all this content just because I wanted to be ahead of schedule for you guys. And um, I didn't want to run out of things to show you. Um, so yeah, about to get ready to head to this meeting. Um, meeting with a new agency, commercial agent. So wish me luck, we'll see how it goes. All right, bag, check. <sighs> it's gonna be a good day today. I can feel it, I can feel it. Let's go get this agency, make moves, take over the world, make history possibly. All in one day. Let's do it. Said I got peas, greens, potatoes, tomatoes, hands, lambs, tams. You name it! It's actually beautiful weather out today. You guys see the clouds. First time in about two weeks, man. It's been raining out of nowhere. Just randomly pouring. But we need the rain. So can't get mad at Mother Nature for doing her job. was popping to the best team in the world so yeah we just got here we just parked um, I'm about an hour early but it's cool it's better to be early than late so that's fine I usually get lost with GPS all the time anyway so I'm glad that I'm here early so chill in the car for a little bit and then I walk in all in all I hope everyone is taking advantage of their year um, it's 2017 people you know, I'm getting older, I'm 27 years old, man, and I remember being 16 years old and just thinking, I'm gonna make it in a few years, I'm gonna make it in a few years. Getting my first deal at 17, thinking, this is it. It not going the right way, and going backwards at 19. You know, uh, having to get an, uh, another full-time job, being homeless after that. Um, booking work but still not having you know booking work on the acting side but still not having enough money to pay rent to now being able to just have optimism and know that all of this is obtainable you know there's times where I can go a couple of months without booking any work you know there's times where uh, I could be working on a couple of records for a little while and feel like damn I just wasted a bunch of uh, I just wasted a couple of weeks um, over some nonsense and on some songs that, that are not even gonna make make the album but had I not had the mentality that I had back when I was younger I would have beat myself up and now I'm so optimistic and knowing that there's always an opportunity around the corner as long as we are prepared for it everything's gonna go all right so guys I hope you're taking chances I hope that this is not the year where you're coming up with excuses as to why you're not doing something I hope you're not continuously saying you're gonna do it next week because it's not the time to do that anymore it's time to make moves it's time to, 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 to to start making your your legacy. Your legacy is what you're gonna leave behind. Don't just base it off of money, don't just base it off of finances, don't just base it off of what the public considers to be amazing. No, do what makes you happy. And your legacy should be based on how many people you have influenced, touched, and inspired 
before you die. You know, the financial stability will come along with that. If you want to be an investigatory journalist, you know, go out and do it. If you want to be an artist and you you, you feel like you, it's in your heart to do it and you, you just don't know where to start, that's already knowing where to start, just not knowing. Just jump into it. What's the worst that could happen? What, you just picked the wrong thing to start? No, come on, just, just dive into stuff. Give it your 100% and just pray on it. And everything is going to go completely fine. That's the only thing I can possibly say. You know, for those of you guys that want to get into acting, take some acting classes, guys. Take, get some headshots, look for an agency. But before you look for an agency, make sure you hit the basics. Make sure you actually study uh, the science of acting. Make sure you have to actually take some acting classes. Look at movies from a different perspective. Go watch some theater, go watch some plays. Actually do the homework. This is all possible and this is all doable and you're probably a legend in the making and you just don't know it because you've been bullshitting for the past however many years of your life and that's fine because we've all done it and we've all had some have 10 years, some have 13 years, some have 27 years that you've wasted that, that, that you just haven't been working to your full potential and that's fine but start now, start now, get up, care about yourself and make yourself happy, you know? Don't postpone working out anymore. It's not the fact of just, oh, you need to work out because you need to look good and you need to look a certain way. No, it's because you want to feel a certain way. And I don't know, at least for me, every single time I get up to go work out, I'm not going back to sleep after that. I feel productive and I feel like I've conquered pain in a physical form that is harder than me following my dreams. So I definitely said, man, I've already overcame pain. I was felt like I was dying in that workout and I'm and I survived it. I'm good. I'm ready to go fight for my dreams right now. Let's go write a song. Let's go study for this audition. Let's go make something. Let's go paint. Let's go take some pictures. Let's go work. Let's go read a book. Let's go put some knowledge in our brain. That's what you guys honestly need to do. That's what everyone needs to do. There's a lot of you that are just entrepreneurs in the making, legends in the making. You just need to continue to know that Put your heart into it and not give up. We're all geniuses, geniuses. There's not one person that stands out. It all has to do with hard work. Hard work beats talent any day because hard work will overcome whatever talent that is competing against. Think about it. Can you believe this crap, guys? The whole time that I was parked for an hour saying that I'm early, I was parked at the wrong freaking address. I'm speeding like a bat out of hell. Don't do this at home, children, just to get to this darn meeting on time, man. I'm cutting it close. You got Bernie's coffee shop. They have painted Bernie Sanders over there. I'm still late. So on my GPS, it said that I was 35 minutes away when I needed to be there in 10 minutes. It was actually on walk mode. So I'm actually a few minutes away. I may actually be able to make it there on time. Hurry up. It's like I'm going into the bat cave to get here. We made it in here. This shit made me even more late because I'm trying to go to an 11th floor and then I got to go to an SL. Come on! Alright, here we go. I'm excited, I'm excited. Um, the meeting went great, guys. So yeah. Mm, mm, mm. Oh man, I'm so excited. I've been looking for a great commercial agent for a long time. I've been sitting on it. <clears throat> I've been saying that I was too busy. But now's the time to do it. I told myself that I wasn't saying no to anything. So we're making big moves, big progress. Let's go, people. Stay motivated, make moves every day. Back on the road home. Kill time, we're heading back to Sam's. Or Sammy's camera. That's what we're doing. So Sammy's camera's books, their coffee table books are number one, man. This is the coolest place ever. I always end up walking away with something here. Such cool book bags. What's going on guys? 
had some time to kill so I ended up come on, coming over here and stopping at this one uh, cool thrift shop that I saw on the street and I ended up on a come up I got this dope ass tripod travel tripod for 20 bucks come up I'm gonna pop some tags only got $20 in my pocket heading to the crib it was a dope day ended up getting um, a book on Lightroom in Adobe Photoshop so I can learn a thing or two on what to do. Oh shit, I missed my turn talking to you guys. I blame you guys. I ended up getting a book uh, about Lightroom and Adobe Photoshop so that way I can learn a thing or two on how to actually edit and, and make my pictures pop. I'm really trying my best all the time to get the best picture out of the camera, period. Um, and letting, you know, all that post editing stuff be just a cherry on top you know I don't want to fake too much sorry guys if it's dark I'm going through some dark streets right now and as you can tell it's nighttime so we're back in sunny sushi this time came with some stuff to study some homework we got the Adobe's Photoshop Lightroom six book I'm gonna learn a couple of things and get as good as I possibly can yeah, see how good I can get and make these pictures pop. So, really excited to read this thing. Well, for now, we're gonna get some good sushi and we're gonna enjoy it. Oh, yeah, we are. All right, current situation. Oh, yes, and that's, that's just one row. Yo, look at this craziness, bro. This is crazy. This is all to myself. Back at Denzel's crib, everybody. I'm, uh, it's pilot season, so I'm helping him with that. He's gonna book it. Oh, yeah. Also gonna multitask and learn some Lightroom. What's your Instagram, dude? Yo, at Blackmouth. B-L-A-C-K-M-O-U-F. Hey, go follow him, everybody. If you're interested in photography, directing, acting, music, fashion, just all-around blogs, all that shit, go follow the man. Boy! What's going on, guys? Just leaving Dee's house. I had to leave, it's like midnight right now, but I've been up since like 7.30 in the morning. I couldn't even keep my eyes awake right now. Yeah guys, my eyes were closing. They were shutting, I could barely even help D with his lines. I've been up since seven o'clock in the morning. It's, uh, my, my body was just not working well with me right now and I gotta get gas. Dang it! Well, that's the end of the night, guys. Sorry that this vlog wasn't as interesting and I couldn't show you that much, but I learned a little bit of the Lightroom and the Photoshop. I'm gonna be able to do a lot more with that tomorrow. It's gonna be a beneficial today, day tomorrow, I promise. With that being said, love you guys. Have a great night. Over and out. I'm gonna go get some sleep. Peace. Pony your body, pony your body, pony your body, pony your body.